morning everybody my name is Ant and you're watching Survive the Night and in this episode it's St George's Day so what better way to spend it than in the woods cooking up a great British favourite there are three great British favourites but I'm only cooking one uh, the three of them are um, our roast dinners you know everybody loves a good roast I do uh, we've got curries that's a, a new new favourite a new fan favourite over here in, uh, in the UK but today I am going to do something very special. Everybody loves them. Everybody's got a shop in their uh, area and I'm going to do fish and chips. Right, so we've got the nice uh, freshly cut chips, we're not going for oven chips, we're doing it properly and uh, we've got some proper nice batter, beer batter, I'll put the, uh, the ingredients to the batter that I'm uh, using in the description below if you guys want to follow it, if you like the good home cooked fish and chips, but uh, yeah, we're going to do, do it properly, we've got some nice spuds here, so uh, yeah, it should be alright this one. For the fish, we've got a nice haddock fillet, so that'll uh, that'll go down well. And as I say, we're going to do it in beer batter. So we've got uh, a little cheeky Stella out with us today as well. So uh, yeah, here's the batter mix. You can see it's a little bit orange in there. We've got a little bit of turmeric in as well. So uh, yeah, you've got uh, normal flour, self-raising flour, uh, salt, pepper. Uh, I'll, like I say, I'll put it on the the description below. Open that up. Get this in there. Whoa, ho, ho, no, you don't. Boy, 
knew we didn't have anything then. Right, let's get that in there. Oh yeah. Ah. We're gonna go for the stellar. Only a splashing, I would say. The rest of it we can drink. <laughs> How's that? There we go. We'll seal that up. And then we'll just give it a real good massage. Oh, that, sm that does smell good. Nice small fire today, nothing massive. We are in a pine forest and there's not that many uh, rocks around to use. So I don't want it uh, I don't want it raging. So I've gone for something nice and simple, a nice crisp and dry oil rapeseed oil so hopefully it's a little bit uh, more healthy for you <laughs> all right let's get it in and literally i'm gonna stick it all in there and don't worry it's going back in the bottle as well right i can definitely hear it, hear it sizzling now so let's get the chips on because they're going to take a little bit longer than the fish i reckon There we go. There we go. We're in. Put that lid back on and I'll bring you back when the near one's done. Have a look at it. It's a nice piece that. Pretty big. <laughs> Here we go. We're in. I have never done this before in my life, guys, so bear with me on it. <laughs> it might go all wrong. It doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that. And shit seems to be done. The fish is coating nicely. Look at that. Oh, and chips, but banging, absolutely banging, don't they? Oh, and that fish. Well, it'd be rude not to finish it off, wouldn't it? Ah, come on. St. George's Day. All right, that is pretty much ready. We're going to take it off now. Hopefully, not getting any of this bark in there. Time to dish up. really think that I was reading the paper in the woods. <laughs> nah. It's specifically for fish and chips. Right, let's go. Let's do this. See, let's put some vinegar there. See if we can hold that paper down. Okay. Just the fish. Breaking up a little bit. Thank you. 
breaking up a lot. Oh, that is nice though. Greaseproof paper on it as well. Greasy as heck, but <laughs> we're gonna roll with it, guys. I think we're gonna roll with it. Salt. Don't forget the vinegar. All the and a nice pepper. <laughs> Class. I'm tucking in. So the verdict. Give a chip a try. Mm. There's lots of oil on them, but they are good. Mm. Right, fifth. Had it. That's looking good. Oh, man. Oh, that batter. Yeah, it's crunchy. Oh, that's really tasty. Oh, fantastic. I'm well tough with that. Mm. Right, so apart from the pine needles that are getting in it, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And you guys, um, if you have, if you possibly hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. And if you could share this video, it really does help out, guys. And uh, once again, happy St. George's Day. Take it easy. Have a good day. Mmm, man. That is really good. So, that is it. We're all tidied up. As you can see, this is where we have the, uh, the fire pit with the rocks and things like that. So they've been uh, moved back to where I found them and we've doused it all with water literally it is soaking wet through there there is nothing gone through onto the woodland floor and uh, you've just seen me dispose of all that oil so that's gone as well so yeah it just leaves me to say thank you so much for joining me on this one i'd like to wish you once again happy saint uh, george's day and i hope you guys uh, are having as much fun as i have today out in the woods and uh, yeah it's just been great it really has